Good morning, happy Monday, meditation Monday. It's Tim Wilde here from very frosty, chilly southern England, but the birds are singing. They're beginning to, they're beginning to tell me that it's the signs of spring are approaching and a uh, couple of weeks it'll be in bulk in, in the UK, which is one of my favourite dates because you can see the signs of it everywhere. The evenings are getting a bit longer, the mornings are getting a bit lighter. And talking of lighter and brighter, what I want to work with the, this morning is the third eye. Now, over the course of the last 12 months, we've obviously seen the most incredible changes on this planet. Everything is starting to shift. It's starting to evolve where we are. We're witnessing the reconstruction of our, our societies at what looks like quite a destructive level at the moment, but will reform at, at the much higher levels. Now, the first thing that was released last year, and this was very much kind of after the beginning of, of, of the initial information, the lockdowns, the whole, the, 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 the pandemic kind of uh, thing that was being rolled out, was it was a massive global fear release, okay? Everybody had their personal identities, their their well-beings, their safeties. Every every aspect of this was challenged very, um, very, very solidly, <clears throat> and so it it created a global fear release, which was then kind of released in, released um, and alchemized by the angels, the ascended masters, by Oslot, who've been working so hard. A bit later on in the year, we kind of go into we go into kind of like clarity and truth, and and the the a, a, a very special process started around the Lionsgate, where the the third eye began to. And if you've been following me for a while, you'd have heard me talking about it back back last August. The third eye began to release its fifth veil, the veil of amnesia, the veils of Maya, whatever you want to call them. And that, that veil is what allows us to see at a higher level. Otherwise, we're kind of our, our, our vision is limited, our perception is limited, our, our, our version of reality is, is, is basically, for want of a better word, third dimensional. Now, that veil has been kind of stripped away, it's been removed. So the whole of humanity as, as, a, as a rule is beginning to be shown the higher perspective they're beginning to be shown what's really going on what what's out there what life's all about which means we're privy to a lot more high frequency information now there are certain constructs that were created in 3d to prevent that from happening and, and obviously the we all know what i'm talking about here the the the, <clears throat> the kind of the forces on this planet that we very much like to keep a a as many of us in 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 the lower frequencies as possible but that's not going to happen is it so what what's what i've been shown in the last particularly in the last 24 hours is that we are now in the middle of january going through what's been described to me as a dogma release now do, do you know what dogma means i i had to i had to google it for the, the pre precise information Dogma is a belief in a religious or a political system, okay? So what's going on at the moment is almost like a recreation. It, it almost seems to me like a recreation of what occurred in the Middle Ages, where the, a group of people said, this is the way, this is a certain way, there can be no other way. And if, if you disagree with our way, then, then thy is a heretic and you shall be burnt at the stake or whatever. That's very much a kind of like a similar thing that is occurring at the moment. There is a narrative that is being presented to us. If you don't believe the narrative, then, then you are kind of almost outcast. And more and more people are kind of popping awake from this, this, this narrative that's being presented. But it's creating division again you know the, the the division of 3d 5d those that believe and those that don't those that are just kind of getting on with their lives and and moving into and maintaining a fifth dimensional frequency as high as possible but as we go through this period more and more people will be released from the confines and the chains of their dogma which has actually been almost sewn into the third eye for thousands and thousands of years so just take a few moments this morning because what I want to do is work with the third eye, just give the third eye a bit of a polish and um, just make sure that we're all seeing as clearly as possible.
So just close your eyes, take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, just bring your attention to the crystal ball of your third eye. Now, if you have a crystal at hand, then brilliant, grab that crystal. If not, then the Archangel Raphael will just do the work for you. If you have a crystal, I'll just give you a few seconds to grab one if you want one. And just when you're ready, place your crystal upon your third eye. And as you do so, feel Archangel Raphael just shining his emerald light through the crystal into your third eye and lighting it up very brightly. It only takes a few moments, just feel the crystal ball of your third eye it looks like crystal with beautiful emerald light shining through it, just illuminating very brightly. You might actually be able to physically feel this. There's been so much clearing going on in the third eye, particularly in the last month or so. The, the, the shackles are really coming away from it. Feel your third eye glowing. You might even want to place the crystal back over your third eye again and just let the light flow into it. And as this is occurring, just give Archangel Raphael permission to remove any old symbols, any fog, any blockages that you might have within your third eye that might be holding you in an old blueprint, holding you in an old way of thinking or, or basically blurring your vision, blurring your inability to kind of see and create at a much higher level. This is like a service or an MOT for the third eye, so just let Archangel Raphael do his work. Any mist, any fog, any old symbols that may have been kind of drawn onto the third eye in your, in your previous lifetimes, just feel these being very gently but very precisely removed now. And as Archangel Raphael clears your third eye for you, you will start to feel and see and sense the crystal ball glowing even brighter. And it almost like begins to gently pulse with light, with crystal emerald light. Feel the crystal ball of your third eye actually filling the entire of your head. Feel your clairsentience, your clairaudience, your clairvisual, your claircognitive abilities being amplified now, but on a gentle and balanced level. We also have one of Archangel Raphael's unicorns joining us. Allow the unicorn to touch your third eye with its horn of light. And this horn of light is travelling, its, tra its energy is now travelling back through time and space, through your incarnations and your timelines, and just removing any occurrences, any agreements or contracts that you have made to keep your vision limited and just really feel the third eye clearing. If any of you have been receiving pain in your ears or your jaw or your the glands around your throat recently, this will, this will assist it because it, the third eye is clearing itself. It's expanding. So give yourself a helping hand with that. And then just very gently, just gently open your eyes and just be aware of Archangel Raphael, just very gently, just placing his hand upon your head around there and then on the top of your crown. And 
You might even feel the golden light of your crown just mixing and merging with your third eye now. Okay? Now come back to where where we are and just uh, just open your eyes, tune in and just give your, give your eyes a blink and just feel the third eye chakra within your head. Some of you might have seen symbols in there. You might have seen stuff that might have been drawn on in previous lives through through kind of almost like religious initiations or or agreements or contracts that you have been made. These take a little bit of time to release and then and then the third eye recalibrates and rebalances itself. This process will have really helped that this morning. So just allow your third eye to shine brightly. You will perceive the truth on whatever or the truth of your reality on whatever level you are ready to at the moment. So the clearer your third eye is, the higher your perception levels are and you will see everything with with laser clarity okay so hope you found that useful this morning i hope you have a beautiful start to the week and for those of you that are joining me from stepping from the acash into the halls of amenti tonight i've got a lovely evening in store i'll see you all i'll see you all later see you all soon have a beautiful week everyone bye for now